second derivative, okay, a second derivative, and it's negative five cosine t, okay, negative five, j hat, j hat, okay. And we'll be doing stuff like this in the next section uh, when we talk about velocity and acceleration. Minus seven sine t uh, k hat, k hat. Right? And so that's a derivative, right? Uh, it's a derivative, a uh, second derivative, and we have a function r. So this is actually, you can think of this as a differential equation, right? You have a, an unknown function, a vector valued function r, and one or more of its derivatives, okay? And then they give us some conditions. They tell us, they tell us that r prime of zero is equal to 7k hat, and that r of 0 is equal to 5j hat. And the question is to retrieve the function. The question is to find r of t. Right. So find r of t. So we're going backwards, right? We're giving a second derivative, and we're asked to find the original function. Um, I don't know if you all remember this from, from calculus. If you have a position function, what's the second derivative? What is that called? Do you remember? Um, acceleration. Yeah, first is second. Yeah, yeah. Second, sec, uh, first is position. Second is acceleration. Yeah. So in the next section, they'll be most of the problems in the next section are just like this. After we do this, we'll go to the next section and, and, and knock those out. All right. So solution. So we have to find r. So the natural thing to do is to integrate. Right, so we integrate. So when we integrate the second derivative, which derivative do we get? First. First. Yeah. So r prime. Good. So r prime of t. R prime of t. Uh oh, I don't want to mess up here. Let's see, we're integrating negative cosine. That's just going to be negative, negative sine? sine? Yeah. yeah, negative sine. The derivative of sine is? Oh, okay. Cosine, yeah. Negative 5 sine t, j hat. Okay. And then the derivative of cosine is negative sine, right? So this is going to turn into a plus cosine. Because the derivative of this is this. We're integrating negative sine, right? The derivative of cosine is negative sine. Going backwards. Going backwards. Oh, plus and what's c. missing? Yeah, yeah. Plus c. And the c is actually a vector. You don't have to write the vector symbol, but you can. It's up to you. But it is a vector. It's a vector. Okay. So we integrate once. We integrate once. Anyone know what to do next? Yes, we can plug in the zero. Plug in the zero. Yes, we're going to use this condition now, right? Mm -hmm. These are called ICs. I don't know if you all know that. Uh, the, the initial initial conditions. Yeah, initial conditions. And this is called an initial value problem, except this is an, a differential equation with vector valued function, not just regular functions. It's a bit weird. Uh, all right, so now we're going to impose the first initial condition. So r prime of zero. Let's see here. So you get negative 5. Sine of zero, zero is zero, so we get zero j hat uh, plus seven. seven. Oh, right, because cosine of zero is, is, one. is one. So seven k hat, and that's plus c. Is okay. equal to seven k. Oh, it's so rigged. It's so rigged, the math class. So what's, what's c going to be? Zero. zero. Yeah, how nice, right? So c is just... C is just the zero vector, right? It's, that's it's the zero vector, right? Because you subtract the seven k's, right? So you get zero k. This is, this is the zero vector. So it doesn't matter. It goes away. So now what you do is you plug in C back into your first derivative. Okay. So we have r prime, r prime of t, and that's equal to uh, negative 5 sine t. <laughs> J hat, is that right? Mm -hmm. Plus seven, seven, cosine t, k, k hat? Yeah, 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 I got confused. I was looking here. Be really careful when you're doing these, right? Like, a lot going on. Oh, and c was zero, c was mm -hmm. zero. In the next section, c is not zero, right? Oh, no, no, we'll do one, you'll see it's a wreck. Uh, but it's good, it's good. I did it all by hand, fractions, you'll see, we'll do one. Got like one six plus two twelfths plus three over 51. Like, boom, just grind it out. All right, so then we, what do we do next? What do we do next? What do you think? Integrate, integrate again? Absolutely, just yes, integrate. R of t, R of t, here we go. Oh, oh, we're integrating negative sine, right? So what does that give us? Oh. Cosine. 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 That's good. That's the answer. Yeah. Cosine t. Oh. Yeah, because the derivative of cosine is negative sine, right? That's, that's where I cut this thing off. And then, uh, oh, this one's just going to be sine, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So sine t, sine t. 
But it's good homework, you know, because it's like, I don't know, like, it's, it's just calculus, you know, like it's derivatives, integrals, it's all mixed in in one section. It's kind of like a fun section. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good review. Oh, that's fun. Especially when you get them right. And then what do we do next? Right, the IC, the initial condition. Good. So R of zero is equal to five. Five J hat, yeah, because that's zero. Mm -hmm. Cosine of zero is, is one. Plus oh, sine of zero, zero is zero. So zero K hat plus C, C is equals equal to five J hat. Five J hat. Good one, Sarah. Yeah, five J hat. C is zero again. Totally beautiful. This is amazing. I love this problem. How it's all zero. It's so good. <laughs> Doesn't get any better than that. That, that. That's a little baby. That's a weird zero. And that's it. Right? That's it. The last thing you do is you take the zero, right, and you plug it back in here, right? So you get R of T equal to so R of T, so a vector value function, is going to be uh, five, right? This one here, right? Five. Cosine t, j hat. So cosine t, I'm going to put it in parentheses just because it looks better, j hat. Plus? Sine. Is it, is it si oh, seven, it's sine? Seven. Sine t, t k hat. And then k hat. What about the c? Oh, it's plus gone. zero, plus zero. Plus zero, so it's just zero. So it's just plus zero once. You don't even have to add it. I know, zero. but okay. Yeah, but plus zero once. Zero. zero. Yeah, if it weren't zero. Yeah, right, if it weren't zero, you would. Actually, if it was not zero, Joe, things get way harder, right? Well, if it wasn't zero on the second stage, it would be another t, right? Right. And then at the third stage, t plus. Right, like if it wasn't zero, like say it was 2i hat plus 3j hat, you'd have to add the 2 to this part, you'd add the 3 to this part. So you'd have to add it individually to each. You have to combine like terms. Mm -hmm. You have to combine like terms.